Welcome to My Favorite Dish. I'm Joseph Cope from JJ's at the Copper Pot. We added some new menu items recently, and I've got to say one of my new favorite dishes to prepare is our rainbow trout. We take local trout and slow smoke it with applewood, a nice chili mixture on there, and then we finish with a smoked tableside presentation. Let's go to the kitchen and see how it's done. So we're back in the kitchen and we're gonna smoke some trout, uh, JJ style. Uh, we wanna start by the day before, soaking our trout in a brining mixture of half salt, sugar, uh, lemon juice, and water. Uh, and honestly, a little bit of liquid smoke. We wanna start that uh, flavor out a uh, little earlier in the process, especially when we're de dealing with such a delicate fish. Uh, we're using rainbow trout, uh, local. Uh, so this has been brining for 24 hours. Uh, next step we wanna do is have that smoker on 30 minutes before uh, and then drain our uh, wood chips that have been soaking for at least 30 minutes. Uh, you wanna let them have some dry time for approximately uh, another 30 minutes. Again, time consuming. Uh, and then we wanna get those wood chips in 30 minutes before we ever get the trout into the smoker so that that box is filled with smoke already. We're slow smoking at 175, 180 degrees for about an hour and a half. Okay, so we've got these uh, beautiful eight ounce fish. For our preparation, we're gonna take it and slice it down the center. You could use uh, salmon, you could use uh, you know, some white fish of some sort. Um, you wanna still take the same measures to uh, brine probably before. Uh, salmon's a little bit fattier, it'll, uh, it'll cut away some of that. We're gonna pull our grill grates, uh, or smoking grates from the grill and we're gonna take and fold this fish. This is cool pres presentation uh, uh, for a, a white fish or anything. Take and roll, and you could stuff in the center uh, some spinach or, uh, or some sort of uh, filling mixture and actually smoke it with the fish. Uh, so over just like this, it holds its shape. If you do happen to do trout, I've found that uh, the tail over the heavier side seems to hold up a lot better. So we've got our fish on the grates prepped up, and now we've got a, uh, a blend of our house seasoning, a little black pepper, and a mixture of chili peppers uh, ground up. Uh, also, again, adding a little bit more of that smoke flavor. So we're just going to sprinkle right on top. It's got a little bit of heat, so we're not worried about getting the whole thing. Get little bites of delicious, uh, little smoky spiciness. And that's it. We're off to the smoker. So after uh, time and patience, hour and a half in the smoker at about 180 degrees, uh, with applewood added 20 to 30 minutes as much as possible uh, by still making a smoke. Uh, so we've got two beautiful fillets here of trout. We're gonna start with our plate uh, presentation by taking a lemon and having it, and then doing nice thin half moon slices. Take this and wrap it around the plate as a starburst. Capers, you wanna rinse them so that, that they're not extremely salty. Uh, rinse and drain them off. Put some around here. And a little bit of sour cream, just right there. And then you've got the perfect little bites with everything. Here's a nice trick for home. Uh, take a circle and uh, for us, we're using a quinoa and rice mixture. You could use uh, angel hair pasta, would be very delicious with uh, smoked fish. Uh, but we're gonna take this form and load this rice right in here. And you really kinda, on this idea, you really wanna make sure that the mold is pretty darn full and you're almost mashing it down so that it really holds its shape. And then a nice release. And that's just a way to class, class up any plate that you uh, work with a uh, rice or something that will fit in that form. We're gonna take our trout uh, fillets, stand them up in the center like this, 
We have a beautiful orchid flower here, uh, just for prettiness. It's kind of bitter, it's not really that good. Okay, and the final touch, and this is where you only find it at JJ's at the Copper Pot. We're gonna go over here, and we're actually gonna finish with a table side smoke. So uh, back here in the kitchen, we're taking a little bit more fine ground apple wood and loading it in to the smoking gun. We're getting this into the dome. And this really actually does impart a lot of flavor, uh, uh, that final apple wood smoke, uh, beyond just presentation and uh, aroma. And we have one interesting plate that you'll only find at JJ's at the Copper Pot. I hope to see you soon. Again, I'm Joseph Cope from JJ's at the Copper Pot, and this is my favorite dish.